Currently working on a Mazda CX-5. This is the 2.2 diesel engine. It's got the engine management light on and it has fault codes P0471 exhaust pressure range performance code logged. And in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through the steps on how I found and hopefully fixed this fault. <laughs> Okay, so firstly back to the fault codes P0471 exhaust pressure range performance out uh, It also had a secondary code which was a historic code P2262 turbo supercharger boost pressure not detected uh, the main code I'm going to be focusing on this video is the first one and I'm going to be diagnosing that I'm going to be checking afterwards hopefully we have a repair um, solution and then I'm going to be able to see uh, how the drivability is etc so I'm going to be doing some live data checks on it uh, getting some information and then doing some uh, likely investigation diagnostic checks from there. Okay, so with the snap-on I get the live data pids up I pull the exhaust pressure sensor and I just monitor the readings There is major fluctuating from over 300 to just under 200 and that is giving me a very clear indicator that we have a fault in the uh, sensor itself but to confirm that, there's just two things I want to do. Firstly, I want to confirm that what I think is the sensor definitely is. And the easiest way for that is just quickly disconnect it and monitor the live data. It switches back to 50, which is a default setting when it's disconnected. So I know that is the pressure sensor. The next thing I want to do is disconnect it from the pipe. So what it should be reading is just atmospheric pressure after that. I know because I'm close to C, level here that it should be in and around a hundred give or take so if we're having a different reading than that we know the pressure sensor is faulty by doing those simple checks so the exhaust pressure sensor bank one that one with the key off is still 315 kpa so i'm going to disconnect it from the pipe now and check to see what reading we have and uh, see if that's still staying very high. If it is, we have a faulty pressure sensor that we need to replace. <clears throat> so the pressure sensor is disconnected. Remove that bracket. Which that in there and this set in like that And the exhaust pressure sensor is still reading 350 even when it disconnected so when it's disconnected engines off the reading is way out that should be down a couple of hundred down from there so we know that that sensor needs to be replaced so I've got the vehicle back in now that part got ordered that upgraded type of sensor kit and as you can see here there is a few differences from one to the other so in this new kit we have a different type of pressure sensor it's a straight down uh, plug-in type it isn't angled um, so the bracket is changed as well so I need to uh, reroute the cabling a little bit and um, it comes with an additional adapter onto it a shorter pipe and uh, new clips cable ties and it's got those uh, nuts as well a couple of new uh, 10 mil nuts to fit down so um, there's going to be a bracket that sits on the bottom which replaces the other one there's going to be in the other bracket it sits on the top which secures that sensor down to the bracket afterwards and the two, two tin mil bolts secured so I'm going to go ahead and fit that all now just coming off the final road test now I've got a little bit to go pulled in to have a look at the live data and as you can see here everything is reading like it should um, the levels are perfect that's exactly what we would expect to see 
and uh, this is going to be good it's going to be a fix and ready to go back to the customer some simple things to check when you have a pressure sensor like that disconnect the sensor see what it's reading at default when disconnected in this case it was 50 the reading was extremely high disconnect it from the pipe make sure there's no pressure in the exhaust which is giving you that reading and then you should be just reading atmospheric pressure once that reading stayed high i knew there was a fault and this definitely needed to be fixed i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it useful and informative if you did please like share comment and subscribe and i hope to see you in the next one thanks for watching